This is a completed solar system installation involving a go at 5 kilowatts inverter, 5 grid inverter, then also a 10 kilowatt lithium battery from Seawatt. As you can see, we have 98% on the battery, 99 hours estimated, 53.8 voltage. As you can see, everything is well connected. That wire out there is the earth wire coming from the earth rod. I already dig in the ground you see we have the source protector that's the dc breaker we have the ac uh, voltage protector and the ac breaker okay i want to show you something this is a high voltage inverter and most times these high voltage inverters they uh emit a lot of excess currents and voltage sometimes you discover that when you fix your inverter you find out that the whole body of the inverter carry some some kind of current so what you do you try to add the inverter it's it take a separate earth into the ground that's the only way to eliminate that excess current coming from the inverter voltage and currents as you can see i connected the output of the solar panels first to the surge protector but the moment i connected the earth wire you see the there's no more currents on that earth terminal on the earth terminal of the surge protector but if you remove the moment you remove the earth wire you see there's going to be currents there and when you put your hand there you get an electric you get electro electrocuted so it's very important for you to add your inverters when you finish your installation especially when it comes to high voltage and high frequency inverters take a separate earth from the inverter earth, inverters earth terminal to the ground and also from the such protector to the ground don't connect it to the editing of the house thank you for watching i hope you've learned it's not too from this keep subscribing to my channel for more thank you